December 5th, and we're on pages 12 and 13. It's day two of the book club. Today, let's learn more about our author, the writer of West with Giraffes. 嗯，我们今天的好书俱乐部单元继续要介绍我们昨天介绍过的长颈鹿男孩。我们昨天简单的提到我们的主角，他那时候是十七岁嘛。那刚好呢，碰到了有两只这个长颈鹿，因为飓
we don't want to say author, Rahul, it's Aisho author, Haisa writer, it's Aisho writer. This sentence is very nice because we have author and writer. You should really know both words. Draw an arrow. 嗯，没错。那这个地方的话，把 author 跟 writer 把它画起来。所以你一旦知道说，哦，这两个东西其实可以互换的。那以后画在同一个句子里面，要表达同样概念的时候，你就可以换字，不要一直用同样的字。Okay, now what did she want to do when because she didn't want to be a writer? She was too busy dreaming of being a baseball player for the New York Yankees or playing tennis at Wimbledon. Although I think she probably didn't want to play on the Yankees this year, they were terrible. Ah, so next, the last sentence tells you that she was too busy dreaming of being a baseball player for the New York Yankees. She wanted to be a baseball player for the New York Yankees. She wanted to be a for the New York Yankees. She wanted to be a baseball player for the New York Yankees. She wanted to be a baseball player for the New York Yankees. Playing tennis at Wimbledon, 好，就是在温布顿打网球。他就想到这些事情，可见他应该是蛮喜欢运动、动态的活动。Yeah, I can feel that she really likes sports. 嗯、mm. ，So she was too busy, v i n g something. So because you were too busy to blah blah blah, you can't blah blah blah. I was too busy doing my homework to play video games, or I was too busy using my cell phone to. Take care of something else important. It doesn't matter how young they are. Let's continue. That fearless spirit would serve her well as an author or writer, and many of her adventures would inspire her work. 好，我们来看下面这句话说 ，That fearless spirit， 那种什么都敢试试看、常常看的那种大无畏的精神。Fearless 就是不害怕。好，非常非常不害怕这种精神呢。Would serve her well， 非常非常适合她，可以帮助到她。As an author， 不管是作家，当作家你也需要这种尝试的勇气嘛，对不对 ？And many of her adventures would inspire her work。还有她许许多多这种冒险的经历呢，都能够提供她许多的灵感。Okay， so we know fearless， just like Anthony said， it means very brave。B R A V E。The opposite, Shang Fan, of fearless or brave is afraid or scared. This fearless is a great word. It means super brave. When something serves you well, that means it helps you a lot. So her fearless spirit serves her well as an author. So because she's very brave, this helps her be a good author.、Mm. Okay, our next sentence begins from snorkeling. With sea turtles to hang gliding in the Swiss Alps, Linda Rutledge has sought inspiration in her own life as much as in the great literature that influenced her to become a writer. This is a tricky sentence with lots of tough words. Check Anthony. Maybe you need to listen to this sentence again. Hmm. Okay. We're going to first look at this sentence. It's long. The first part of the sentence. We're going to first look at. From 跟 to 给圈起来，圈起来之后你就知道 from A to B。他说 from snorkeling with sea turtles。snorkeling 的话就是做那个浮潜，好，要有机会的话就跟海龟一起浮潜这样的感觉。To hang gliding in the Swiss Alps。好，在这个瑞士的阿尔卑斯山去做滑翔翼。其实我觉得那种滑翔翼，其实那种 hang gliding 其实很恐怖。如果你有机会去 Google 一下的话，你发现到。哇，那真的是需要很大的勇气跳下去。Dude, there, I swear this is true. There's a video. My my old student sent me a video.、Oh. He's like, dude, look at this video. And there's a man. He's trying. He's learning to hang glide. Uh. But his teacher doesn't hook him in correctly. Oh and no. The, and he breaks his arm. <laughs> he breaks a bunch of bones. His name is Chris Gursky. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's like. Chris Gursky, and you see him fall off the hang glider. It's, oh, it's my name! Wow, this, it's just 奇怪 right? Oh, 奇怪！这老师的这个以前的学生啊，就给他传了一个影片。然后这个影片中的主角呢，叫做跟老师名 Chris Gursky， 几乎是很像的名字。然后他在玩那个那个滑翔翼的时候，因为他的教练就是他帮帮他做这个滑翔翼的训练人呢，他没有把他勾在那个滑翔翼上面，于是他在。在滑的时候，后来不小心把手跟脚都摔断了。完全不重要的事情啊！算了，继续，对不起。<笑> OK， 所以先知道说他会做这些事情哈，不管是上山下海啊，他都他都来，对不对 ？Linda Rutledge has sought inspiration。这个 sought 
就是 seek s e e k 这个字的过去式跟过去分词。那他在很多很多的地方呢，去搜寻他的灵感 in her own life， 在他自己生生活当中 ，as much as in the great literature that influenced her to become a writer。当然，还有在影响他非常非常深远的这些文学著作里面呢，也得到了很多很多的灵感。所以，他的灵感来自于自身的生活、自身的冒险。还有许多的文学作品。All right, very quick review. Let's look at the first word, snorkeling. Snorkeling. You can highlight that. Our next important word we have is sought inspiration. Look for inspiration. Sought inspiration. Raho, literature, books, literature, and then we have influenced. Influenced. Again, you can stop and listen again if you need to. Good words, but a long sentence. Let's continue to our next one. In her childhood, so when she was young, she read Superman comics and Nancy Drew mysteries. All right, Nancy Drew mysteries were these old books about a like a a girl that helped the police fix problems. Yeah, so here, you can see her interest. 喜好，他喜欢阅读的这个喜好哦。他说 ，In her childhood， 啊，在他这个童年的时候呢 ，She read Superman comics。哦，原来喜欢看超人的漫画，所以喜欢冒险是正常的啊、哦。And Nancy Drew mysteries， 好，意思就是指这个 Nancy Drew mysteries 是一一个推理的那种小说。这个主角叫南希，然后他会帮忙警探去破案。那还喜欢看这种推理的小说。She she makes me think she's a tomboy. I don't know if she is a tomboy, but reading her her about her life, she sounds like a, a tomboy to me. A tomboy, T O M B O Y, is a girl that likes to do very boy things. The in Chinese, the boys, 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 嗯，所以 tomboy 的话就是那种很有男男孩子气的那种女孩子，然就是变得很喜欢做男生爱做的事情，然后打球啦，然后或者是看超人漫画啊等等，去冒险啦那样感觉。那她的话，感觉上就是一个 tomboy， 哈，很有这种男孩子气的，好像是男孩子灵魂装在女孩子身体里头。Yeah, yeah, yeah, sure.、Uh, let's go to our next sentence. As she grew up, she began to appreciate. She began to like classics. Like Huckleberry Finn and To Kill a Mockingbird. All right, Huckleberry Finn and To Kill a Mockingbird are very famous books that almost every American student will read. These books are called classics with an S. 嗯，没错 ，classics 就是经典名著的意思。然后到后面，等她慢慢长大了之后，年龄渐长了 ，she began to appreciate. Appreciate 就是欣赏。她开始会懂得欣赏这些经典名著。像是 Huckleberry Finn， 哈，就是《顽童历险记》，还有 And to Kill a Mockingbird。The Kill Mockingbird 就是梅冈城的故事。Are these famous stories in Chinese too？ 嗯，呃， oh, okay. 在这个梅冈城故事的话，事实上在我们的那个教科书，英文教科书里面就有提到，哈，就是提到呃那个梅冈城故事第四册第第九课。That's... 你有机会还可以。Oh, right. <laughs> It's a really good book, but it, there's a lot of history to it. Okay,、mm. time for giraffe facts. What is the first thing that a giraffe does in its life? Ah, so the teacher asked, first, ask a question. If the giraffe was born in the wild, what would the first thing it would do? It would fall two meters because a mom giraffe gives birth standing up, so the baby falls two meters. Oh my God! First, from two meters of this place, fall down. Because in fact, when a mother is pregnant, she does not give birth like this. 贵的生产所以说，那妈妈腿又很长，对不对？所以一旦从这个妈妈身体出来之后，她会先经过这个两公尺这样的撞击。<笑> And a baby giraffe called a calf, C A L F. 那个 baby like cows and yo, those are all called calves. Also, the leg muscle is called a calf. Man, how young? A calf can stand and walk after one hour when it's born. Okay. 所以说今天的那个小的那个长颈鹿的话，我们可以用 calf 哈 c a l f 这个字来表达。那它一旦一旦呱呱落地了之后，一个小时它就可以慢慢起来行走了。And pretty good. Yeah. All right. Let's take a quick break. And when we come back, we got paragraph two.
Hey everyone, welcome back to Enjoy English School. It's day two of the book club, and we're on pages twelve and thirteen. How do you know a giraffe is angry?、Mm. Well, it will start to move its neck like this. Oh wow! So this time, it's not like this. 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 Well, it could kick you. A giraffe can kick you, and you will die. A giraffe can kill a lion with its kick, or the giraffe will hit you with its head, and you will die. <laughs> okay, so he if he's angry, how does he attack you? He can use his foot to hit you. 那基本上他一脚可以踢死一个狮子，好，所以说基本上他踢你的话，你会死。当然，如果他不用脚也没关系，他可以使用头锤，然后他用头锤撞你的话，你也会死。But those little horns, 那个脚 ，they won't hurt you because they're soft like your nose. 嗯，因为但是他如果说用脚头上的脚来撞你的话，基本上你比较不会受到太大的伤害，因为他那个是软骨，就像你的鼻子是软骨是一样的。I'm and when I'm angry in school today, I'm gonna start going. Oh wow! Like <laughs> Let my students know, <laughs> swaying my giraffe.、Hey. <laughs> All right, here we go. Linda Rutledge has been a professional writer for nearly thirty years. 好，我们来看第二段第一句话，他就说了，我们的作者 Linda Rutledge has been a professional writer for nearly thirty years. 好，他已经当职业作家将近三十年的时间喽。Let's continue. Many of her publications—that means books or magazine articles. Many of her publications focus on her travels. 嗯，所以接下来告诉你说，很多她出版的作品呢，都专注在 focus on， 都聚焦在 her travels， 她旅行的过程里头。So she's a travel writer. So we know what kind of work she did for a long time. She wrote about. Going to special places. West with giraffes is Linda Linda Rutledge's second novel. 好，他告诉你说，我们今天所介绍的长颈鹿男孩 West with giraffes 是着我们作者的第二本这个小说。Her first novel, Faith Bass Darling's Last Garage Sale, was published in 2012 and was adapted into a movie in France. When we adapt a movie. That just means we we take a book and we make it into a movie. 嗯，没错 ，adapt 这个字就是改编的意思。好，我们就是拿一本书，然后我们把它把它改编成电影。在这边，他告诉你说，他的第一本小说呢，《Face Bass Darling's Last Garage Sale》，就是人生最后一场拍卖会。这本小说呢，在二零一二年的时候，然后呢，被被出版了，而且呢 ，was adapted into a movie in France， 在法国还被翻拍成了电影。I miss garage sales so much.、Mm. So in America, in summer, we have something called a garage sale. We know the garage is a place you can put your car inside, and usually many Americans use their garage for to to put their kids' toys in there, or maybe your tools. And so in summer, you will bring out old stuff you want to sell. And people sell things for so cheap, and you can find some super good stuff at garage sales. If you like old video games or old toys, you can find things. Maybe 原本两千块、三千块、四千块啊、uh, ，I 你你给我两百块就可以。Wow, you can find so cheap, and I miss garage sales so much. Taiwan like a RSO 买的东西 ，it's like 啊、uh, ，那个我原本是一千五百，我我。你你买你买一千七百好不好？什么东西啊 ？It never is never really cheap. It's like、no. 这个是二手的，应该要很便宜。对啊。No no. Oh. So I miss garage sales. 嗯，老师非常想念他当初在美国的时候会碰到这种车库拍卖会哦。Yes. 很多时候大家都会把这些不要用的东西啦、小朋友的玩具啦，然后找个机会一次清仓大拍卖，然后你可以买到很便宜的东西，又可以捡到宝那种感觉。可在台湾的话，你要买到很二很便宜的二手。东西都没有这种车库拍卖会，所以老师非常想念。Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can go on Facebook or something and look and then pay 一点点而已。But, I mean, 一点点而已 ，and it's just 不划算，不划算。So yeah, people really when they have a garage sale, they don't want to throw it in the garbage. So they're just like, give me a couple dollars and take it. Ah, that's、yeah, really what it is. Okay, let's go into our next sentence. Her journey into literature. Ah,、哦、昨天也有看这个字。嗯、mm. ，Her journey into literature 
may have begun with comic books and teenage novels, but her writing has taken her far and wide. When we talk about something is far and wide, we mean everywhere. Hmm. Okay. So he next tells you that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into literature, that is, her literary journey, may have begun with comic books and teenage novels. We say that her journey into When you say far and wide, that means everywhere. 好，大家到很远很远的地方，好，就变成是他从这个地方开始对写作形成了这种强烈的兴趣，到后来慢慢的透过这个旅行，他开始有他的旅行文学，他的作品、小说等等。Our last sentence today, perhaps, maybe her novels will inspire you to go on your own adventure. Okay, 最后一句话告诉你说 ，perhaps. Her novels will inspire you. 也许看她的小说的话，还也会激励你 to go on your own adventure， 展开属于一场自己的冒险。So what does giraffe mean? Well, giraffe is actually a word from Arabic, and it means flute leg. 哦、oh, ，所以说今天如果你听到 giraffe 这个字好特别，它的字源是来自于哪里呢？是来自于阿拉伯文，它的意思就是 flute leg。Flu 就是我们吹的这个长笛，然后那个脚长的像这个长笛一样的形状。Now a giraffe has a very long neck, but it still only has seven bones in its neck, just like you and me. 嗯，你看看我们脖子对不对？我们脖子的这部分有一七节这个脊椎骨。那事实上，你看那个长颈鹿的脖子这么长，但它跟我们一样，也只有七节脊椎骨哦，很奇妙吧 ？And a giraffe has a very long neck to eat leaves. But it still can't drink water without spreading its legs or kneeling down. Hmm. Okay. Today, it can eat to the very high places of the tree. But if it wants to drink water, it has to spread its legs and kneel down. It can drink water. If it doesn't spread its legs, it can't drink water. And lastly, where does a giraffe sleep? Well, a giraffe sleeps on the ground. Where does a giraffe sleep? Well, a giraffe sleeps on the ground. Where does a giraffe sleep? Well, a giraffe sleeps on the ground. Where does a giraffe sleep? Well, it doesn't like lay down. It's too dangerous. So a giraffe will sleep standing up. And the giraffe will put its head on its bum bum. Oh, so he said today his sleeping method. He won't put it down like this. He will sleep on his head. Then his head will be on his bum bum. If he hits some dangerous things, he will run away as fast as he can. I like to say bum bum. All right. Don't forget today our question. What's the best answer for the question? What's the best answer for the question? Don't forget today our question. What's the best answer for the question? Don't forget today our question. What's the best answer for the question? Don't forget today our question. For enjoying English school, I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye. bye.